good afternoon again my YouTube friends it's Margaret from Emmy's Orchids and uh, I thought what I'd do today I'd, uh, I'd see what I could salvage of this uh, lovely Cymbidium Orchid well it isn't lovely is it it's I look at Fernanda's channel and she has some absolutely gorgeous Cymbidiums and I know uh, she lives in Portugal which is a different uh, climate to England and she also has them under the canopy and this Cymbidium was one of three uh, that um, Keith bought me a few years back and um, there were, I think only two of them flowered uh, and since then I've, I've struggled with them uh, and this is the last one I've got left now because um, they can go out in the garden in the summer but for three sides of our garden um, we get the um, either the south, the east or the west sun and there's actually no shade at all um, so as you can see uh, it's a little bit worse for wear but it's given me this new growth here and down there I don't know whether you can see it um, what I'll do is I'll just lift you over if I can down there there still not going to see it are you I'll, uh, when I pull it out of this pot I'll show you um, but what I thought I'd do first of all um, I might be wrong in my assumption um, but just in case I'm not I've got it ready and you're thinking well what's that and if I show you on the windowsill there uh, we've got fairy liquid sorry about that I'll put the light on a minute we've got baby lotion and we've got some cool Listerine mint the, the mouthwash uh, I think it's Maria in Florida, her channel. She uses the uh, the bronze one, but we can't get the bronze in England. And uh, what I've done, I, I've just mixed this up. There's no measurement. I just put some in here, and I've got the cotton wool balls there. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to just put this light on. And this is what I wanted to show you. Is it on this one? Has he done this one? Because I've turned it round, haven't I? Hold on. Now which one was he done? Here we are. Can you see that? Now this might be nothing. Can you see all the, that down there? And uh, I thought, oh well, it's just probably a bit of dust from one of the other uh, pots when I repotted them. But then when I look again now, on this one here, can you see the same? And, uh, I mean, I might be completely wrong, and it's on this hedge, this edge here. So, there's, there's one way you can easily tell if it's spider mite. And, um, because if it is spider mite, then each one of these leaves will have to be treated. So let's just... I've just dipped this little bit of cotton wool into this mixture here. There we go. And let's do have a look. Oh dear. Because it's such a big plant. Can you see what I'm looking at? These here. So let's just wipe this across. You know, I don't know whether that has got spider mite. Let's try the other side here. You see if it's spider mite. Now that has. That that's definitely got that's definitely spider mite. That's the red. And uh, so if I can manoeuvre this round here and um this leaf, this leaf here. Now that leaf wasn't bad. 
I'm just trying to find another one. Um, I'm probably going to be out of camera here. Let's just take it round here for you. Like I say, it's such a big plant that uh, I'm going to have to do something with it. Let's bend this leaf now. Look at this. Look at this. And I think at one time it did have a spider mite. Oh, there, there. There, all that red there. So, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm not going to worry about the, uh, the uh, spider mite at the moment. I'm going to um, take this out of this pot because I think this is in the wrong pot anyway. And um, because the, the leaves are um, easy to get to, that won't affect my uh, wiping them down off camera. Um, what I use to sterilise, what I was using yesterday, is this. It's a, a power foam and it's for um, grease. Sometimes I use bleach. It just depends on what um, what I've got handy. So um, I brought that in the kitchen today. And so let's just have a look. Because if this plant is struggling with spider mite, uh, then um, I've got to do something about that. Because if I don't, um, I'll lose the plant. And I feel guilty enough sometimes when my plants don't do very well. And um, but sometimes you know, they don't do excuse me, they don't do very well because of, um, they're not in the right environment. And the right environment for and at this. where I've got this one. It's upstairs and it's not in the orchid room and it should be in the orchid room because in the orchid room um, it will get the humidity and it's not getting any humidity at all and in fact let's have a look. So it sent out that new growth there. Can you see that new growth there? And there. Just can you see in there? There. Now I don't know whether that's a um, new growth or whether that's. A new suit bulb. Um, let's just wipe the suit bulb here. The trouble is when you've got big orchids like this, um, they're very difficult to handle. And these spider mites, they're terrible. There we go, there's that growth. Can you see that growth? Right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to worry about the growth so much as about the roots. And let's have a look. What's our root system like? Not brilliant. And what I thought I'd do is um, put it in this pot right and let's get a pair of scissors and see what we can do with this poor orchid see whether I can bring it back from the brink let's have a look I don't know, it's a bit dark down there, isn't it? If I hold it this way, 
Perhaps you'll see those roots and you'll see what I'm looking for. Mush. See, that's a mushy one. So, let's see how far down that mush goes. It's just on that side one there. So I've got to get rid of that one. And uh, what I think I'll do, rather than just have you hanging up while I'm cutting all these dead roots off, if the camera will let me, sometimes it doesn't let me, you know, and it really annoys me because I'm busy talking away and I'll just say I'll be back in a minute and when I come to come back it's actually shut me down. But hopefully now it won't shut me down and I'll be back in a minute. So what I'm actually doing, I'm just cutting these, these roots that have gone soft. I'm cutting them back into clear or if, there, or if there's any that are damaged, I'm cutting them back to a damaged spot. Um, and that let's just take this one back here. See what I mean? See that's damaged. So I've taken it back. It's no good having the uh, and in fact there, believe it or not, is a snail. So what I'm going to have to do also now is in a minute I have to just put you on pause again and I need to go into the garage and I need to get some uh, hydrogen peroxide to spray on these roots because now I've seen that little tiny snail could mean that there are more. See, some of the roots are fine. See that one there? Right. It's a messy job, that's a bit. It is a messy job. But if you don't, if you don't do it right, and we've got the spring weather coming now, don't get this these roots sorted out. Because if we don't get the roots sorted out, how is the orchid going to rejuvenate itself? I don't know. I'm taking these black roots back to green. See like that on there. Let me see. So that's that's got that's rotten right the way down to there. So I'm going to there's a there's a break there and I'm going to take that off there. Right so just bear with me while I get this hydrogen peroxide. So this is what I use, hydrogen peroxide, 3%. It's already mixed up. In actual fact, uh, this would help also with the spider mites. But I'm going to give uh, a double pronged uh, with the spider mites. I'm going to treat, um, see that root there, it's got green inside. I'm going to treat the roots and then I'm going to also spray um, these leaves and uh, they, I don't use hydrogen peroxide very much and the reason I don't use it very much is it burns my hands. Oh look at that! You know this poor thing is struggling and it's trying to live so you know I've got to do my best for it. It'll have to go back into the orchid room. So we've got what appears to be a new growth down there. 
and also a new pseudobulb there, which I've just shown you. Right, I'm going to just turn this upside down now. And just do these pseudobulbs. I can already feel it burning my hands. I was just seeing them if I could hear it starting to uh, make a noise because that's when you know that the hydrogen peroxide is being active. Yes, don't know whether you can hear that. There we go. I think most of these roots are not bad now. Um, what I might have to do if that's that one that I've shown you is I might take some of these back especially off camera and um, I don't want to take all the leaves off um, but I'm mindful of the fact that some Spider mites might be lurking down under these sheaths here. So, because it's like with any of the bugs, they usually like to hide and, uh, and then they crawl out and have a nibble or do whatever they're doing while you're unsuspecting. that new, it's either a new growth or it's an emerging bud. I'm not too sure. But anyway, right, so what we're going to do now with this I don't think the medium that it was in there was anything wrong with it. So this is the type of uh, container I'm wanting to put it in and uh, I don't think there's anything up with this media at all, it's just um, Melrose Bark, which is that large bark, so I'm going to and it's, it's also got some slow wet release fertiliser in it. Um, I'm having to keep wiping my hands because um, these pseudobulbs that I've just cleaned. Let's see if I can. Let's bring you down a little bit lower. If I can. If it'll allow me to. Let's 
So we've got that new growth there. And we've got that new one there. Whatever it is, I'm not sure what it is. So... Oh, we've got that. Oh my gosh. So this one's coming in three ways. That's that one there. That's that one there, and that's which I think might be a, a flower spike. So we've got to put, position this in this pot. So um, it's got room. I think that might be. I think that might be the best position of it. That way. Now. Those roots there are actually just hovering over that media that I've put in. So what I'm going to do now is just fill this up. And you see really, this media that it's been in, isn't dry. So um, it's not that I've that I'm keeping it, it dry, it's just that the atmosphere is dry. There's no humidity for it. So when I've tidied everything up and I bring it back into the grill room. Hopefully then, hopefully then, where's that new growth there? It'll romp away. I mean, they are a terrestrial orchid, the Cymbidians, I and mean, other countries grow them outside. And um, they stay outside all the time. But we can't grow them outside here. Well, I can't here, where I live, in the northwest. Um, I suppose if you lived in Cornwall or the Silly Isles, you might. You might be able to grow them outside there, but certainly not here. Um, we get too many frosts. So I'm wanting this media to. Between those roots, so there's no air gaps, whilst at the same time trying not to damage the roots or those emerging growths. But it does need to feel also uh, secure in the pot. Now, that root, see that root? I've just cracked that root there. Now, that just that will have to be. That's got to come off because I've cracked it. Oh dear. But otherwise, I think now I might, I might have just enough media now. Let's just have a quick look. I mean, I can fill it in, these roots here, but we might have some emerging growths coming out there. So, um, I've kept, oh, look at that, I've just killed that, that's uh, 
that's a wood lice. Mind you, I shouldn't have killed it really because the wood lice, they, you know, they don't do any harm. Right. I've got to be careful. Can you just see where that little, just there, where that little new growth is? So I've got to give that room there, excuse me, I've got to give that room there to emerge. Oh dear. Sorry about that. Even though it, it means exposing these here. So, um, let's see. This is where it's like a builder. You've got to see whether that piece will go in there without there we go that was better perhaps we can put a piece there now I'm going to try to attempt to just put it on pause while I just tidy this up so uh, but if it doesn't um, if it shuts me down, um, I'll tidy it up and I'll come, because I didn't show you the phalaenopsis in the grow room. So what I'll do is I'll tidy this up and then I'll go into the grow room and then give you a visual of the phalaenopsis I did yesterday and the angaricum and everything. Bear with me. So I'm back. And what I've done is, um, on this big pseudobulb here, um, I've taken these two very badly affected leaves off and, uh, and now I'm just going to um, wipe these other leaves down so uh, I've had to cut a leaf out there because that, has, that was already affected And um, like I say, I'm going to wipe these leaves down now, tidy them all up, and uh, see if I can save this poor cymbidium. But I think it's going to be better in this uh, in this deeper part here. See, I'm going to have to also. Um, Besides wipe all these pseudobulbs and uh, see if there's anything lurking under these little pieces of a sheath here. I'll, um, I need to wipe that newly emerging pseudobulb there and make sure everything's in order. So, um, thank you for joining me. It's... Uh, another messy job but if we don't deal with these messy jobs you, you leave them and then it's just too late then you, you've got to act now and get them sorted out because um, otherwise um, you may as well go on through your orchid in the bin so um, take care then and uh, we'll speak soon bye bye now